Sometimes people want to change the partner first, you know, instead of connecting with self. And sometimes people will choose the repetition pattern. Sometimes other people, though, will choose the oppositional pattern. Well, it can look a couple of ways. Sometimes people swing in, re- in romantic relationships. So they choose somebody who is super combative in communication or conflict. And then the next person they date is the total nice guy or gal, right? like you said before. And then they swing back and then they swing back. Or you grow up in a family system where high conflict and, you know, conflict is really charged. Maybe high conflict means a lot of yelling or it might mean abuse or, you know, it can mean so many different things to so many people. But this idea that I'm go because this was so painful for me, I do a 180, right? So instead of being attracted and drawn to what is familiar, I 180 it and I am drawn to the person who will never bring up anything. And even though the latter may be enticing because no conflict, sounds good, looks good, right? But the reality of it is, is that when we are existing in repetition or opposition, we are not existing in integration. And I think it's really important because to the public, I think we talk about repetition a lot. Oh, it's the same thing as when you grew up. And we don't give opposition enough of a spotlight and so I'd, I'd like to just give opposition a moment <laughs> here with us. Be like, you have to look out for that part too, because that is not resolution, right? That's an avoidance of something. And, and an avoidance isn't the resolution that we're looking for. And that opposition can come in many forms. So as, as a parent, you might say, well, my parents abused alcohol, so I'm never going to touch it. Right. right? So you, you, can, you can look for opposition in behaviors that don't actually heal you. But you're acting in a totally different manner. So you, on the surface, think, okay, well, I'm not doing, I'm breaking that pattern. I'm not doing what my family did to me. So therefore, I'm healing and and moving forward when in actuality, it's surface level. It's not meaningful to the wound that was caused. Yeah, but it's so subtle, right? Because no one's going to argue with you if you choose not to drink. Right. They're not going to say, you should be drinking. Right. Like no (laughs) one's going to be like, oh, that's a bad decision or low conflict. No, tisk tisk. right? It's like, these are the ones where it can feel like, oh, you can get away with it because you're making a choice that objectively looks pretty good to the observer. Right. And, and so it's so important, right? This is such a nuanced conversation of no, if you just choose that path without the resolution, right, you are not actually addressing and healing it properly.